<laughs> it was so funny, people. First of all, me and Tommy Lina have the same taste in a woman, right? So there's no way that I would ever want Tommy Lee, girl. But you have to say for yourself. What's for dinner? What's going on here? What's that stink? What's this for? What time is it? What's that? Elementary, my dear Watson. <laughs> Hey my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, Watson's World. Now, if this is your first time visiting this channel, click on the subscription button. Yeah man, go ahead and click on it now. Yeah, and follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at The Noble Cop. All right, people, in this video, I'm gonna talk about a well-known DJ out of Jamaica called Tommy Lee Sparta. And the vibes, and the vibes, and the vibes. <laughs> I don't know when I'm late to song, the and the vibes. Um, by the way, guys, Tommy Lee recently became a person of interest again, people. There's no doubt that Tommy Lee is a talented youth. Right? If you love dancehall music, you might have enough influence on, on, on the youths them at Jamaica. The reason the police have named Tommy Lee as a person of interest recently are because I'm affiliation with some activities that we are going on in the Flankers. And everybody knows where Flankers Tommy Lee come from. Flankers is one of them places that were very volatile, or one of them bad man community. They are one of them places where some of the baddest gangs come out of. Right? It's one of them places that we're afraid of when you're there more beer. And Tommy Lee is said to be a man who have whole heap of influence in that community. They may move out of the, the gully, they may move out of the community, but they still have them links. And based on you know, some information with the police have, what they must say is that he still have some affiliation and he have some link to what I go on. That, that's, based, that's essentially what it is. Now, the police will never ever release all the information they have. Right? And I know whole heap of youths are going to say, boy, I target them, I target family. But what I can't understand with a whole heap of them artists here is that when them so called boss, when them reach, when them have a few hit songs, when things are going for them, why them not drop the badness? Uh, you have to understand that the police work off of intelligence and sometimes the police are work a case for a long time before them call out a person of interest. You know? So over the years, we have seen Tommy Lee get involved in a whole heap of things when all right, whole heap of is like him no one left certain crowd. And I don't know why when things start to go on for them, them not just drop the badness and try to have a positive influence upon the youth them. Now, another thing on a mere hero out there is that Tommy Lee start out in a scamming. And that lead me to the next story I want to get in her, guys. When Tommy Lee was arrested in 2014 for lottery scamming, I was one of the police officers who went on that operation. So I was involved in the search of the premises and so on, me and another sergeant from Mocha. And we were augmented by some police officers from Kingston and so on. And people would find things in the house. I was there. I was one of the officers who was considered an expert in the area and would find lottery scamming paraphernalia in the house. We find laptop with lead list and them something there. And for the people who want to know what lead list is, let me just give you a simple breakdown. A lead list is really a piece of document, whether physical document or document stored on a computer that contain uh, personal information of other persons, right? And this personal information can include, you know, your name, telephone address, your credit card information, social insurance information, and whole heap of other little personal information that can uniquely identify somebody. Now, the lead list where most scammers have usually contain information of persons who reside in the United States and Canada. And this is the kind of information that we found on um, Tommy Lee's laptop. I, I, I went to court a couple times when they call up the matter. I was supposed to testify and them dismiss the matter because apparently an attorney, Ernie Smith, um, filed a no case submission in the court. And what he said is that the Crown failed to 
um, prove that his client, Tammy Lee, is involved in lottery scamming because even the laptop where we find the leads, pan, we couldn't attribute the leads to Tammy Lee because a whole heap of other people use the laptop, right? And it's something they will find at the house. They must say, we can't attribute it to Tammy Lee. And they have a point because there is a difference between having possession on your person and having constructive possession, right? When you have when constructive possession is basically, you know, you're in other premises and you have control, you have access and control, right? But it's not on your person. It's not physically on your person. Um, so if we did find it on his person, then we could have, we would have a better argument in a court. But because the lawyer said, listen, I know him alone um, occupy the house and him have whole heap of friends come there and this other youth were in charge with him, Carl O'Brien. He had access to the place too. And so because the prosecutors feel they established that kind of position, them just say, yo, I could show this case. Because it was mostly a case based on possession of identity information with the intention to use it to commit a crime. For me, I am not accusing him him get off of the case, right? And uh, the justice system work for him, right? But at the same time, as somebody who went on the operation and find all of these things, it still leave questions in my head. If I don't film them, then it means they might entertain people around him with the scamming. So people, I think Tommy Lee need to examine him life and realize say, if him no separate himself from certain things, it going to bring him down. It going to bring down in career. He have to start to think consciously. Right? Him get off of the scamming case good. So you, you have a chance to build yourself and, and make a difference. So do that no man. One more little thing here about Tommy Lee people where me, me laugh every time I remember it. Um, you know, Tommy Lee is a cool youth. You know, me talk to him and he's a youth where you, you can't reason with. But me remember when we supposed to when we do the Q&A with Tommy Lee and in girlfriend and O'Brien. The three of them will lock up, right? And um, the other sergeant who was on the operation with me, he was the main investigator. He did the case. And he said to me, say, all right, what's more, you help me with the Q&A. So a Q&A is really when a suspect gets his attorney, he's cautioned, and in the presence of his attorney, he's questioned, right? The attorney is not supposed to answer on his behalf. The, the, the attorney is just there to guide him, but uh, he might go answer the question. Um, the other sergeant who was there said he might do the Q&A with Tammy Lee, right? And he said to me, say, boy, do the Q&A with him girlfriend, right? And another police do the Q&A with O'Brien. Tommy Lee looked upon the sergeant and said, boy, I yeah, don't I mean, want an Indian question, my girl, you know, Indian look like he's a sharp you tonight. I'm going to take my woman and a star. I yeah, don't want him question my, he better him question me, uh, man. I don't trust Indian at all. <laughs> it was so funny, people. First of all, me and Tommy Lee you know, have the same taste in a woman, right? So there's no way that I would ever want Tommy Lee girl. Secondly, I'm a professional, all right? I don't get personal with, 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 with suspect them kind of way there. Thirdly, me not grow no kind of people. Me not, I mean, me not have a problem with people bleach out them skin. If you decide to bleach out your skin and that make you happy, then so be it. But I'm not a big fan of people who bleach out them skin. And if you see them people here, uh, Tommy Lee and him, and him, woman and everybody, body bleach out them skin and me not in a them thing there. So I, I found it quite of funny. I said, me I said, artist, relax yourself. No, no, you are the big man and you are the star you now. How you feel how you feel threatened by little me? You understand? Anyway, we laugh about it and, and we do this QA and and um, you know, we basically charge them and everything. The justice system work for them and I saw it go. So big up to Tommy Lee. The only thing me I say, Tommy Lee. You have to rethink your life, boss, and start to make a difference. You understand? You have to start to think positively. Me definitely don't like all that Tommy Lee music, but he might have some good music we can really rock to. He's a talented youth. Anyway, people, just wanted to share that little story with you about Tommy Lee. <laughs> yeah, man. Remember, subscribe to the channel, click on the subscription button and click on the little notification bell so that you won't ever 
miss another upload. Also, people follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook at the Noble Cop. Peace out.